Well, I got the powder more well done. Finally. Uh, it took me forever. Um, new carburetor on, new gaskets, uh, new bolts or screws, I should say, for the carb. I got the new recoil on here. It's not working as best as I'd like it to, but I'm not really going to complain of it at this point. I found out that it was actually easier to mount this on the side. This way I didn't have to, uh, I could actually use this with my thumb, so I would actually do it more like a, more like this, I suppose. So when I'm doing it, I'm just doing it this way. So I haven't done a cold start on it yet. It definitely is uh, needing one. <clears throat> Got the blades on and everything is good on that point. So uh, let's see if she will run. Gas in her. That guy going. Though at least that's a positive. So this thing hasn't run in probably four years, at least four years. So hopefully she will pop right now. See what I'm saying this is what I'm saying with the recoil. It's just I don't know what it is. It sucks back in there, but it goes so slow. And even if you pull on there's a hair. She will go down, but she just kind of trickles back down that way. And just be on the safe side. Too much, but she's going to run no filter for the time being. It's a good thing she's popping. That's a positive. Can you see something going on now?
This is by all means not made for raking leaves, but yeah, obviously it doesn't hurt the grass. Nothing's wrong with it. Yeah, just leave these clean up that way. Probably suck them up or something. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Use the blower. I'm not sure. Let me show you what I'm talking about back in here. So that's good. Let's see if she'll start again when I get back here. So here's my, uh, uh, I just got my blower here. This blower is a, uh, um, here's my blower. It's a PB225, I believe. It's an Echo. I like the Echoes. I prefer them over a few other ones. Um, this one does have the side um, sucker on it as well as the blower, so they call it a, Eater, I can't remember what the hell they call it exactly. This hose here mounts right here. So you just undo this. It's a shred vac, they call it. That's oh, 210 on my bed. you do basically turn this side. all you're doing is uh, you're lining up this is a switch here you're lining up this switch here which you can see it right here this little orange guy and here's your cutters so even says right here pretty simple switch so you put your switch right in this area here basically Slides on, it sucks it up, and then uh, you take off the sh this chute. Take this chute here off, and then uh, where's that? I can't remember where it's at now. Oh, here it is. <coughs> this goes on. <coughs> this connects up to the exact same, and then this here, and then you have the bag. It's got a zipper on the top. Here's my, uh, get this out of the way. This is my two and a quarter. Uh, it's a pass system. So what that means is right here, you can actually, it disconnects. So you have a couple different uh, attachments you could do. There's probably about 10 or 12 of them, right? If I'm not mistaken, I just got the straight. But you just untwist this and it locks in. You can actually see where it locks in right here. So it locks in, everything hooks up. So I have just a regular uh, straight stringer and then uh, right now. <clears throat> and I got the edger here as well. This is a curved shaft. So it's a little bit easier. You can have, crap, there's got to be 10 or 15 different attachments. I was going to get the attachment for this for my... Uh, for the power broom, but got this baby now. One less thing to think about, I suppose. Um, 
But Shindao is a, a decent brand. Always has been. Always been proud of them. Um, haven't had any issues whatsoever with the ones that I had, except for my own stupidity. So obviously you can see this is a back up and running after about four, five years. Shindawa 230 Power Broom. Can't wait for my first snow. I mean, of course I can wait for it up here in Wisconsin. Going to get it regardless, unfortunately. So there she is. There she is right there, ready for some action. But like I said, they'll do good with the sand, dirt, whatever else. You can see it didn't harm the grass whatsoever. So we will go from there. Take care.